Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Nathan Lee, and today we're going to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately, my unhealthy obsession with BTS. And when I say obsession, I mean full-on stalker status. I mean, have you seen Jimin? That man could steal my heart, and I wouldn't even be mad about it. But then there's Jin, who's off in the Korean army, and I'm just over here like, come back to me, Jin. I miss you like I miss my ex who didn't deserve me. And don't even get me started on the rest of the BTS boys. They're like the Spice Girls of K-pop, but with more abs and less girl power. But let's be real, I don't stand a chance with any of them. I mean, have you seen their fan base? It's like trying to compete with a Kardashian for attention. It's just not going to happen. So what's a single, gay, Asian-American guy like me to do? Well, apparently I'm just going to keep obsessing over BTS and keep raising my standards for boyfriends to impossible heights. I mean, how am I supposed to settle for a regular guy when I've been exposed to the perfection that is BTS? They sing, they dance, they look like they were carved out of marble. It's like trying to go back to regular coffee after you've had a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. It's just not the same. And let's talk about the comparisons to American pop culture. Like, remember when Justin Timberlake went solo? And everyone was like, whoa, he's actually good. That's how I feel about BTS, except... They never had a sync phase. They were just always amazing. And don't even get me started on the memes. BTS memes are like the new Keep Calm and Carry On posters. They're everywhere. And honestly, I'm not mad about it. I could spend hours scrolling through BTS memes and laughing like a maniac. So what have we learned today, folks? Well, we've learned that I'm obsessed with BTS. I'm in love with Jimin, I miss Jin, and I'm way too single for my own good. But you know what? That's okay, because at least I have my music, my memes, and my unrealistic standards to keep me company. So until BTS decides to adopt me as their unofficial eighth member, I'll just keep living my life and bopping to their music like it's nobody's business. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time. Or as BTS would say, Annyeonghaseyo!